Hi there. Just wanted to make a quick video going over some of the key responses that I got from your guys' uh, submissions. So here are kind of a summary of the sketches that you guys made. And then for the first one, you can see that there's an overall trend to kind of uh, have something that's kind of parabolic and then it kind of uh, shifts down going down this way. And there's definitely some outliers that kind of drew the uh, overall path a little more parabolic, but you can see that the kind of trend that kind of uh, traced each other was a little, a little parabola that's upside down. And then once the parachute hits, it just becomes a, a straight decreasing uh, curve. For this second one, the bumper cars, the uh, distance traveled was definitely a lot more uniform where it was uh, steady. And then once the uh, the bumper cars uh, crashed, the uh, distance stopped, but time kept going. So it just became a straight flat line. And then the Ferris wheel, most of you guys either uh, connected straight lines or you drew a smooth uh, kind of a uh, sine curve, a cosine curve, some of you guys called it. So it does have this uh, periodic type of uh, smooth continuous uh, curve and then you can also kind of see that some of these uh, outliers have some strange looking type of uh, graphs but overall the trend you can kind of see the ones that are traced uh, over each other some of the responses uh, that I had I thought this was interesting that um, this person I think this is Andres from a period of three uh, drew these as just uh, little dots based on I'm, I'm, I'm assuming when he was going through the timeline. And then this is uh, his response. This next one, um, again, kind of has the par uh, parabola going upside down. Once the parachute hits, then it just begins uh, to decrease at a slow decreasing rate. And then this last response kind of has the same idea. It's maybe not as uh, precise as this one, but it kind of still has the same idea that you have a uh, the height and then once the parachute hits somewhere probably around here it begins to uh, decrease at a uh, constant rate for the uh, bumper cars there's uh, one response you can pause read it over if you'd like another response that was uh, using the line tool so a little more accurate and then another response that was pretty much the same in terms of the graph and then just a, a different uh, explanation. I thought this was a, a good explanation as to how you could fix the other person or the person's graph, how you can fix uh, Jenny's graph. And then going over the other uh, Ferris wheel. So um, some of you guys wrote down that it does create a, a sign curve. And this is a little scenario that we'll revisit a few times. Um, the motion of one of these specific uh, cars going around a, a Ferris wheel. Someone that drew it again, same kind of idea. It is periodic. It's maybe not as accurate as this one, but it kind of has the same idea as far as uh, the, the height of the car going up, going down, and then kind of uh, repeating. And this is another one I thought this is a really cool one because uh, we have some of these specific points, and then the line was kind of drawn to kind of pass through those points. So making specific points on the graph is a good way to then allow you to uh, trace it a little more accurately. So if you haven't done the first or the, uh, the, the carnival uh, function, you should probably do that one first before you go to today's Friday's assignment, because today's assignment is build, building upon the first part. So today's assignment on Friday is going to be part two of the uh, function carnival. So hopefully that gives you an idea how to uh, work through them. And I'll talk to you guys uh, soon.